Flu season is here again, and with it comes concern about the growing use of homeopathic treatments. Health officials are worried, too. Many people are swapping traditional vaccines for alternatives that may not work, a trend that could hurt everyone. Kim Brunherber explains why. I would still go more to your restless legs leading to sleepless nights. Then Ali Ramadan recommends this magnesium, the homeopathic kind, diluted until it doesn't actually contain any magnesium at all. There is no way to really know how it works. All we know is it works. You want to prevent an infectious disease like the flu? His clinic advertises a similar alternative, a no-sode, a homeopathic remedy made from infectious body fluids like blood, pus, phlegm, even feces, watered down until there's no active ingredient, not a molecule. So these things can be an alternative to, a, to the vaccine? Well, they can be an alternative to the vac vaccine for sure. It's a growing industry. Health Canada has approved about 150 no-sodes, most of them in the last five years, which drives public health officials crazy because vaccination rates are dropping, leading to outbreaks of disease. Only 62% of kids age two are actually up to date for their shots. And that goes hand in glove with a rising campaign of misinformation about vaccines. That concern prompted Health Canada to take action. In March, no-sodes will have to bear a warning label that reads, this product is not intended to be an alternative to vaccination. That warning doesn't phase no-sode user Paul Majerian. With a baby on the way, he hasn't decided whether he will give his child a vaccine or a no-sode. My wife and I are currently discussing. We haven't actually come, come to a decision. Doctors fear if more people opt for vaccine alternatives like no-sodes, it could compromise so-called herd immunity, the type of public protection you get when 95% of the population has been immunized. Most homeopaths we talked to said they would never tell a patient not to get vaccinated and to take a no-sode instead, but it all comes down to personal choice. But public health officials say that choice could affect us all. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Toronto.